Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar and welcome back to Channel Integration Guru. So in our last tutorial we learned how to install SOA and how to start standalone domains SOA server. So once your server is start started you will see that SOA is running and accepting requests. So once you reach to that stage, so today I am thinking of we should know we should learn about enterprise manager of SOA and SOA console. So to access these two web pages, you will need to go to the local host. In my scenario, the machine that I have installed in, I have put it as local host only. If you have used any, an IP address, you can do with that and the port type and console. And for enterprise manager, it's EM. And you'll need to log in with the username password that you gave during the installation. So these are the two main web pages or I would say web consoles for your development of any SOA service or any application. And at the same time, it will be mandatory for you to use these consoles in order to test and validate your services so let's begin with uh, console as it open open faster so this is the home page of uh, oracle soa 12c console so at home page only you will see almost everything which is required so those who have some knowledge of soa they will be able to understand that uh, from here we can go to this data source option to create data source in order to connect to any uh, database so when we will be doing database POCs or database adapter examples we will go deep into this concept but these are some navigations that I wanted you wanted you guys to be familiar with so data stores you can reach from here for JMS messages you can create JMS modules here and from JMS modules you can create JMS queues, topics and connection factories. To create JMS server this is the option under messaging and at the same time if you want to check the health of servers this is the option here under environment. If you click on click here you will be able to see that we only have one admin server but in case if we have multiple managed server as well uh, configured in your domain then you will be able to see multiple servers from this page only. You can also control these servers from this control tab and by control I mean you can shut down, restart, resume everything. So rather than going manually from your command prompt you can control your managed servers from here as well. Of course if you shut down admin server you cannot start here from here because you will not be able to access console once you uh, stop admin server from here so rather than from home page you can also check these options from here as well from environment you can see servers here and then in services you will be able to see data sources and that JMS modules and JMS servers and everything for any sort of adapter configuration you will need to go to the deployment option which is here so under deployments option you will be able to see all the adapters that is there in SOA that you can use and you can do various configurations of adapter in order to use them in your service and when we will do POCs when we will do the actual development this statement would make more sense to you that what sort of configurations we can do for different adapters so every adapter comes with its own way of configuration and we will do that one by one throughout this tutorial series so we have major adapters that we use from here is uh, AQ adapter we have file FTP we have JMS adapter so these all adapters we will be learning one by one with some examples and we have DB adapter and 
any other any other adapter that you can see in your J developer you will be able to configure it from here so there are a certain now there are certain steps that you will need to follow in order to configure those adapters and uh, updating those adapters and keeping the plan dot xml plan of that adapter into a particular location but again this video is only to give you an overview and to let you know guys how the navigation works but we'll go deep into it once we start doing the examples of all adapters one by one and once you make any changes which requires a server bounce that means which requires restart of your managed and admin server you can check it from this option view changes and restarts so for example if we have made certain changes in our uh, server for example we have increased the jta timeout or any sort of timeout cjb timeouts and it requires a restart this will come here under this section you you will be able to see that one restart is required due to this particular change i think these these are the basic things that you must know about admin console to begin with it's not all of it but it's good enough to start your soa career or you start your soa learning with this information however there are other things as well like i mentioned jta timeouts how to check logs log files uh, data source timeouts and all but this you will eventually get to know that when you will be doing examples and when you will be solving issues related to different adapters so that's all for console now we will look into the enterprise manager so from enterprise manager as well at your home screen only you will be able to see that server option if it is uh, working or not working you can also control it start resume and all after selecting it but usually I mean I have never used EM console to do any sort of admin administrator stuff now as far as this servers mo server monitoring is concerned so the reason why we it the user interface of this 12c 12.2.1 is a bit different than 12.1.3 version and it's absolutely different from 11g version so for this this is the latest version that you can see so here there is the target navigation if you click here you will be able to see different options so the major tab that will be useful for you guys just for the development purpose would be this SOA under this we have SOA infra so if you have installed only SOA in your machine you will be able to see only SOA infra but in this I have installed OSB as well that's why we can see service bus as well at top of it but if you have installed only SOA only SOA infra will be here here under weblogic domain you can see SOA domain and admin server this is to uh, do some admin related stuff some complex stuff that we will be covering throughout the series but I think as at the moment it's too early to get into it so we will be covering other options later on like UMS for messaging services sending emails and stuff MDS repositories to uh, keep your common artifacts into MDS and use throughout your uh, so environment but these things will come to it later on but not at the at this moment so this SOA infra SOA infra is basically a schema whenever you install SOA the schema gets created into your database as of in this one it as I told you in my previous tutorial as well that uh, in standalone we are using at the moment java database java db basic db so the soa infra will be created there only so in soa infra everything which you deploy any service any code that you deploy all the metadata of that service stores in soa infra so soa infra is a very very important concept of soa so i will be making a separate video just explaining what are the important tables of soa infra how you can troubleshoot any issue using soa infra tables and when exactly data gets committed into soa infra what happens when a rollback 
uh, starts so this sort of stuff will come to it later on as today's agenda is to just walk you through with em and console of soa so here uh, under soa folder you will be able to see different folders and prior to this version we used to call it partition but now we are calling it as soa folder so there is only one soa folder here which comes by default so its name is also default however you can create a new folder if you want to segregate your services for example I'll, i can create a new folder named integration guru to keep all the examples all the services that we will we will be creating throughout this series so to do that we can come here we can click on manage folders and here we can create a new new folder from here all right so i'm not going to do that as of now i will be doing that later on when i'll create a new poc and whatever services that you deploy you can check from here services are also called composites here so these are few pocs that i have done so i'm parallelly i'm running a batch as well where i'm training someone who is interested in learning soa so i created those pocs to address that batch and whenever you test any service you can simply uh, come to flow instances search here and you will be able to see the latest inst instances if there was any you can uh, increase the time limit from here and if you want to add some other filters as well like flow id or the title of it you can add it from here however these things of course when we will be creating examples and we will be testing it of course these things will come in handy an error hospital is uh, something which if you want to if there are multiple instances which are in recovery mode you can bulk abort them from here so that comes really handy when we want to bulk abort running instances to improve server server performance and uh, i don't think anything else that you should be knowing at the moment to start your learning however there are tons of things which can be covered here uh, we can create csf keys here we can uh, export mds import mds so many other things we can create we can set different properties here as well uh, for example uh, sync wait uh, max time Uh, like how much time a synchronous process should wait to receive the response from the calling services so there can be thousands of things that you will be learning throughout this training process and uh, if you are interested you can also search by your own as well because it definitely come in handy learning basics is not good enough in this competitive environment so a lot of things here i mean you can set people properties as well how much data you should be having in your audit trail and those who are absolutely new to soa you guys don't need to worry i will be creating very basic pocs in starting to make you guys familiar what exactly we are dealing with and once you have some hands on to uh so why activities so uh, composites and everything then we will go get into complex stuffs as well so the major ideology or the major agenda of creating this channel is to actually uh, make videos on concepts which no one has made yet or where i could not find the good content when i needed it the most so i'll give you an example like uh, there is one so a component uh human task so there was one requirement which came and i looked into tutorials blogs and everything so there was not concrete 
uh, any concrete blog or video that came across so i decided that okay then i'll make videos for people who might be needing it if you guys won't need it that's okay i will have a good collection to refer from <laughs> so i think for em and console i think this is good enough for you guys to begin with and in my next video i will try to walk you guys through the j developer the important components and activities that we will be working on throughout this course and later on after that we will start the actual development so thank you so much for tuning